what is a method of closing your speeches that can leave a lasting impression on your audience and one that very few speakers use? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. When closing your presentations, how do you usually do that? Do you have a definitive statement that wraps up your entire message? Do you close with a quote, a poem, or something that calls back to the main foundational concept of your talk? This is how most people close their presentations. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this, by the way. However, there is one method that leaves a lasting impression on your audience. It's this. Ask a question. Not just any question. One that leaves your audience uncomfortable. Why would I say that you should leave your audience uncomfortable? One of the biggest challenges for most presenters is that they tend to be giving helpful people. The reason they want to stand in front of an audience is to share a message that, that can make people's lives better. There's one problem with this. Most people don't take action until they're uncomfortable. If we don't push them out of that comfort zone so they feel uncomfortable, they're going to keep living life the way they have. Short example, when I was a financial advisor, one of the most important areas of finance that we would talk about is this concept of long-term care for families. Long-term care meaning as we get older, our bodies begin to break down and we might need the care of our friends, our family, and ultimately assisted living in nursing homes. What we discovered is that most people have a false sense of confidence or security about this. They hadn't really thought out a plan. It's a painful discussion within families. We shared examples throughout the, the workshop of how planning helped families. It, it protected families and definitely protected assets. And we would share examples of families who hadn't done any type of work, hadn't planned at all, and the devastating impact that had on them. Rather than wrap up our workshops with some statistics or a motivating, uplifting finale, we ask a question. What's your plan? We wanted people to think about this. And by closing with that question, we wanted people leaving there thinking about whether or not they had done the proper type of work to protect their family, their children, their parents, their, their assets. We didn't want them leaving feeling good because if they felt good, had a false sense of security, they weren't going to take action. And one thing we knew is that well over 90%, almost all families have not done enough planning. By disturbing people, we increased the odds that they would do something in their best interest. As you're crafting your next presentation, don't fall into this belief that you have to close the presentation by, as some people like to say, putting a bow on it and finishing it off. Don't do that. Challenge your audience. Disturb them enough so that they'll take some action after they hear you talk. Otherwise, you may just be giving a nice presentation that doesn't lead to any type of action or change in your audience. I'll leave you with this. If you want to have a lasting impact on your audience, are you asking a good question to disturb them?